Hey, what's up? What are we gonna talk about today? We're gonna do a, a video analysis the culture shock for both of us. Before you went to Singapore for the first time, what was your expectation about Singapore? First of all, I didn't know much. I only know about Singapore because there's a Chinese restaurant that is called Singapore here in Valencia. Yeah. And they don't sell Singapore. <laughs> no, it's, it's <laughs> Chinese food. I didn't know it's so... Mm, Modern. Cosmopolitan. Skyscrapers, big, yeah, big buildings. So I didn't even know that you speak English, so... <laughs> What about you? I, I, I knew about Spain like a long ago because I know about Spain because of football. You know? Also associated Spain with all the Toro, you know, the bullfighting and all that. Mm, I always thought that uh, lasagna is always from all parts of Europe. <laughs> I didn't know it was from like Italy. I know that they speak uh, Spanish and I expected them to like at least know a bit of English because they are all Angmo, you know. But it turns out, when I first came here, not all that is true. <laughs> what was the reality for you in, in Singapore? I expected it to be big, uh, luxury. Because I've been to Singapore six times. Then in the end, for me, it's not new anymore. And I prefer the neighborhood part and the little houses. Three years ago, I came to Valencia, it was my first city. People were surprised, you know, usually Asian people who go to Europe, it's like they will go to London or... Or in Spain, they will go to Madrid and Barcelona. Yeah, the best thing about Valencia so far to me is the food is, is awesome, you know. Also food in Singapore, I like... So I, well, I, I love... When I go there, I cannot be on a diet. <laughs> Like we would get diet eat. before going to Singapore. Yeah, home. there's so many things in Singapore to eat. My favorite, como sate, chicken rice, everything salted egg. Nasi lemak. Nasi lemak. Oh, from Korea, you know? <laughs> <laughs> see. A bit spicy sometimes, but I got used to it. Mm, eventually, well, it surprised me. Culture shock. It surprised me that for breakfast already. Eat, uh, Fried rice, eh, noodles. Because here I only drink milk. The eating timing in Spain ah, is crazy, you know. Mm. They have lunch like three or four p.m. and they have dinner at nine p.m. here. Oh, ten, nine. Yeah, yeah. you so. have to say it's because we have five, five times to eat. That's why I had the impression before I came like ah, people in Spain is so lazy. You know, people here are like so too too laid back that they don't care. The pace of life here is like more chill, more chillax. I feel like in Singapore, police. you see everyone going, going. Yeah. Somebody just yawn. <laughs> there is pain. <laughs> I feel like everyone goes uh, to work at the same time. Everyone comes back at home at the same time. You see everyone in the MRT wearing the same kind of attire. Here is more different, no? I feel like. It's too routine, you know. Claro, I feel like in Singapore. For everyone, it's like the same schedule. You know, I love autumn. It's like breezy, chilly, mm -hmm. not too hot, not too much. You know, perfect weather. And um, this, this beaches, there, beaches, beaches area. We live like five minutes from the beach. Mm -hmm. You live with the beach. <laughs> <laughs> and and that, you're not gonna get that in Singapore because it's like. Summer all year round and it's I can say about that. Yeah, every time you walk out that airport is like you feel it <laughs> Especially when you come from like during the winter oh. in Spain and then you suddenly you just walk out of the airport in <laughs> Singapore This year we went in January and I experienced it for see, myself. See. It was like oh my god I forgot how hot it was in Singapore. <laughs> With the first time I went to Singapore Well, you talked to me in your international accent, but then <laughs> When we met Casey and you both started talking, I'm like, I didn't understand if you're speaking English. Like, I can catch some words, but I cannot make a sentence link. And then when he asked me things, I'm like, oh, I needed you to translate. I didn't know about Singlish. Singlish. <laughs> now I'm an expert because I did a research in my university for this. <laughs> me, Spanish was like, um, 
completely new, you know. Well, not really completely new because I knew about some Spanish words. So when I came here, more or less, good. <laughs> so I started like almost from zero, and I went to the academy for two months. And so yeah, I mean, it's a very emotional language. It's very expressive, you know. Everybody likes to. There's a lot of tones, you know. You go like, <laughs> and the people here like. Uh, the same as their language, you know, they're also very expressive. You see me, I don't fake anything. When I speak English, I'm speaking the, like how I would speak in Spanish. So expressive. Yeah. Emotion. Yeah, so. The basic greeting, you know, they do like two kisses. Like, mm, 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 two kisses. Two kisses to greet anyone, like Claro. Anyone. Very touchy touchy, very close thing, you know, nothing that you would see in Singapore. So, I mean, <laughs> it was completely new to me, very different. It took me a while to get accustomed, but eventually now I'm okay. Not say that we are really friendly, I feel that we are always For open, sure. open to meet people and all this and try to make people yeah. comfortable. In Singapore, so, we just. Hey. See, for me, that's weird. Like when we met your friends, I'm like, oof. Uh, I feel that I need to give two kisses. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and not because like I want to touch them or anything. It's just that it's something natural for me. <laughs> this is a Singaporean person and this is Spanish. You mm. can tell the difference. I give you this, this. Sabes, if we both were like the spice. Claro. Everything is not about race or about culture or anything, right? Yeah. Because we we still keep things from our culture. And we didn't have to change how we are. Yeah. We just blend both and start to understand other things, to respect things from the other culture. Yeah, so you know when you hear about couples breaking up because of culture different, this is just bull. Same. <laughs> culture or distance. Like uh, so the, far away. Just ridiculous because I mean it's, it boils down to individual like if you can accept it or not we are both very expect, accepting and we are both open-minded you know we don't let it get in our way you know so I don't think that's an excuse yeah. three cheers to this couple ah. okay thank you for watching thank you for watching we try to upload as much as possible we are a case show see you in the next video bye, bye.